in Syria, the United States continuing to consider itself as unipolar power, uh, it says no more asset. Um, Europe re repeats after Washington. We uh, doesn't want any more asset, but Putin, other civilization says stop. Let have asset, and after that there are there is our nuclear military power and asset. So, and that is serious. If you are boss, you could not let the other decide, if you're really a boss, decide what to do in your realm of responsibility. It is conflict. Mm -hmm. And Russia says, no, you are not boss. You are not anymore boss. That's very serious. It mm -hmm. is, if but if we, we insist on multipolarity, and if behind us there is nuclear weapon and the iron will to defend, for example, in the little case of Assad, defend Assad. Assad is principally not because we have so much interest there. That is the question of who rules the world. But that is but, the problem. But what so that is that's possible war. Only war could re decide really what, do, uh, who do, is the boss. Do you think that's really a possibility? If United States doesn't want to, to, to start a war, you should recognize United States should recognize openly for all humanity, all mankind, that the United States is not anymore a unique master. So let recognize that there will be no war. But we understand our position is that we are going to fight up to the end in order to show to any to everybody that United States is not any more unique master. It's very serious, very serious, because we are seriously going to, to show and to confirm that we are entering in a multipolar world. Mm -hmm. And the, the situation in Syria, on Ukraine, and uh, 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 anywhere else, uh, that's only the case to prove that. We don't want that, but we understand that if we will be not ready to pay all the price for that, we could not gain. Mm. So, so Ukraine and Syria are all about proving to America yes. that they're not the boss. Yes, absolutely.